So my uh, professional background uh, consists of approximately 25 years in the uh, intercollegiate uh, uh, industry uh, with athletics and higher education, and uh, actually spent uh, three years as well at the high school level. So uh, I think I've seen just about everything uh, from uh, the FBS level all the way down to high school. And uh, enjoying my uh, now eighth year at Eastern Washington University. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, and uh, and getting ready for, uh, again, our, my eighth fall on the campus in Cheney, Washington. Sure, uh, yeah, I was honored uh, uh, with the uh, Under Armour Athletic Director of the Year in uh, 2013. And as in any scenario, when uh, you, you receive an individual honor, obviously there's a number of uh, folks that are uh, a part of uh, the reason why that occurs. And here we just have a tr- everything, everyone from the Board of Trustees to our President, to our uh, President's Executive Council staff, and then obviously my, my athletic staff, student athletes, uh, you know, they've just done a tremendous job during the course of uh, my time here uh, in Cheney. you talk about what type of skills you need to be, say, uh, an athletic director or an administrator, I think the very first thing you have to realize is how much you you don't know and how much you are relying on others to to help you uh, uh, along the way. And uh, although you know you need to make decisions and be concise when you have to be, you know, I value my staff's uh, um, expertise and my coaching staff's expertise and uh, and the hard work ethic that uh, goes along with that. And, you know, beyond all that, you know, the book, you can read books and you can do a lot of other things, but at the end of the day, it, it, it still is a people business. And I think soft skills and the ability to relate with folks and be able to say some things to people uh, face-to-face, um, very direct uh, and very matter-of-factly at times, but in a caring way is incredibly important. You know, I, I am serving on the NCAA's uh, Committee for uh, Sportsmanship and uh, Ethical Conduct, and I've been fortunate enough to, to, to go to one meeting thus far, and in fact, I'm actually uh, getting ready for uh, my second meeting there. And, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a great committee that's a cross-section of Division One, Two, II, and Three folks. So, uh, so, you know, what I found attractive to this particular committee was that it was going to be... It, it, an encompassing um, conversation that's you know that affects over a thousand schools within the NCAA. So, um, so that's what's exciting about it. I mean, not even so much just from an SGS standpoint, but it encompasses all the uh, institutions. You know, I, 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 I think when you talk about generic success at any institution, you want to be well rounded, and the ability for our student athletes to not only uh, do well on the court or the field or the track. We want to make sure that they're good citizens and they do a great job in the classroom. And I'm probably just as proud that all of our programs have a greater than 930 APR, which you certainly want in this day and age. And every uh, program we have, 13 out of 14, uh, I, 13 out of 14 have a team GPA of 3.0 or greater. And uh, the one uh, that doesn't has a 2.9. So, uh, so again, we, we talk having our student athletes come to school, earn their degree, have a great experience while they're here. That's, that's what's most important because we can develop leaders uh, for tomorrow. Yeah, you know, obviously recognitions and uh, the ability to get those types of things from CFPA was uh, huge for us. And again, I think when any time you talk about uh, awards, uh, you know, you're going to have team success. And uh you know, that, that's what's most important, and uh, um, that's not the reasons why we're in it, is to get any type of awards, but accolades and recognition certainly, uh, they, they uh, shine a bright light on, on the program, on our athletic department, and our university uh, as a whole, which is uh, very, very exciting. Yeah, you know, I think uh, everyone needs, uh, you know, tremendous mentors and people that they look up to, but there's probably just a number of folks that... Uh, that I can uh, point to, but certainly from a professional standpoint, um, Ian McCaw, who I worked with uh, for seven years at Northeastern Massachusetts and then Baylor, 
uh, and he's still the athletic director doing great things at Baylor. Uh, you know, I would obviously consider him my mentor uh, as far as uh, becoming an athletic director. He's just a very even-keeled individual that just has a, a just a great way about him and uh, understands that you know the next issues. The next issue is coming. I mean, uh, just because we might be done with something doesn't mean that uh, there's not another thing uh, happening. And then, of course, uh, my parents, uh, you know, they instilled a tremendous work ethic in me. And, uh, um, and uh, you know, without them, certainly, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. You know, leadership philosophies, I think, uh, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before, but, but I, do, I do mean this, is that... Uh, there takes a, there's there's a level of soft skills that you need uh, in in anything. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, influencing folks to to be empowered to do things uh, that otherwise not just because of the chair you sit in, because they, but because they want to do it for you and for the cause. I think that's most uh, the most important part. Uh, and you know, that's a trick. That's an everyday occurrence. And. You know, until, you know, a lot of different sayings out there for sure, but, you know, until folks know how much you care, they're probably not going to care as much. Um, you know, you, you just have to make sure that anytime you're, uh, um, you're articulating what reality is and what the direction is, you've got to be clear, you have to be concise, um, and, you know, you've got to move people in, in alignment. And that, that, that's a leader's job, and if, uh, if you fail to be in alignment, that, that, that comes back to the leader's chair, and uh, that's a, that's something that we take extremely serious, and I take very very serious as well.